Hello, goddess, and welcome to our Twin Flame Empowerment segment. Really, truly is what it's about big time today because we're going to talk about all the, the blame, the shame, the guilt, the burden that is truly being placed upon the shoulders of the Divine Feminine being constantly told that she's the leader. She's got to be doing all the work. This is how you line up with union. Do the work, do the work, do the work. My name is Rochelle Richard. And as the founder, CEO, and self-love empowerment coach here at Empowerment Experiences, boy, do I recognize doing the work. I was a self-love empowerment coach before I found myself on this twin flame journey. And holy crikey. It's a whole nother level of self-love empowerment, truly. And I am owning right here and now, having been someone who has perpetuated some of the twin flame myths, quite frankly, very disempowering perspectives, but easy to get caught up in, in the heat of the moment especially in the honeymoon phase of the twin flame journey, right? Woo! Then you glorify, you romanticize, and oh, yeah. And then you learn that you're the leader, dear divine feminine. You. And then the ego starts to really take that to heart. Just as has been amplified so massively in the twin flame arena, community, is that it's all on you, dear divine feminine. It's all on you. You've got to be doing the work keep doing the work and, and oh, shift this and shift that and, and heal this and heal that. And then you're ready for union. Then you can have physical harmonious union. Do this, do that. Dangle carrot, dangle carrot, yank, dangle carrot, yank, dangle carrot, yank. Isn't that what it feels like? Isn't that what it feels like? But keep, keep working on yourself, goddess. Keep doing the work. Just, just one more thing, just one more thing, and then you'll be there. Just, 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 just one more thing. I'm telling you, this is what's going to get you union. I got tired of it too. I said, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Whoa. Like, I really, truly had those moments where I went, oh, this is so not empowering. <gasps> oh, my power is not there. My power is not there. Oh, my God. I've been giving away my power. Holy cow. And oh, my God, that's, this is what they do. And they perpetuate you giving away your power and keep giving away your power. G give me a little more and it'll fix it. That's how this feels. Putting the responsibility on you, the blame on you, constantly dangling the carrot, saying just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Goddess. I know that space. Let's, let's start with the spot where my clarifying what I mean, meant, and were to mean when I say that you, dear Divine Feminine, are the leader in this connection. That as you do the work on you, you in turn impact and influence your counterpart and the connection 
as well as all of humanity. That's how this works. And yes, being that it is the rise of the feminine, not feminism, there, one's empowered, one's victimized. Victim, we won't get into that. I'm not here to debate that right now. We're talking about you, dear divine feminine, feeling the burden, the blame, the guilt, the shame of feeling like you're not doing all the work you need to be doing or you're not doing the right work for union to be manifesting yet. Why hasn't it manifested yet? Why hasn't it happened yet? Why hasn't my counterpart made these shifts yet? Why isn't this going on yet? Because the intention behind why you're doing any of it seems to be for that specific outcome. So you have a, 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 a grasp, a fixed result, fixed specific expectation for how you think it should look. And that nothing else will, will do. I had that once too. It hurt, <laughs> right? Hurts. But the more you study manifestation and law of attraction and how energy really works and that any Any intention coming from a place of lack is going to just keep manifesting more lack. It's going to keep creating more lack. It's going to keep creating whatever the place of intention is that you are creating it from. Back it up. Meaning, if you are creating your healing twin flames journey from the space of, if I do this, then I will have that. That being external physical union with your counterpart, then you are doing it from a place of lack. The goddess who reached out to me today about, specifically about this, this space of really using these exact words of, you know, feeling like she's doing something wrong because it's not manifesting. It's not working the way all these gurus have told her that if she just keeps doing this work or if she does this or shifts that or changes that. I, I want to personally say if anybody ever took what I said to mean that or if by chance it came out and that's literally how it came out in any of my past content or coaching. My sincerest apologies. My objective has always been that you understand that you look for and you find where your power is. If, if you feel as though you're giving your power away to something, you've got to take it back. This is why in my, which I haven't mentioned in a moment, my twin flame confirmation checklist with 17 days, 17 days of self-love empowerment challenge. The very first fucking thing we talk about is detachment from the label. True detachment. So you can liberate yourself and finally feel peace, peace. For my, my, my twin flame connection, right quick, where we are, we have full open communication. Everything's hunky-dory. He's still got his 
wife and kids and doing his thing. But I'm, I'm in mine too. I'm in my own. Again, I'm lit up for what I get to do. You gotta, you gotta, I'm gonna link the video I recorded right before this talking about the twin flame trap and the counterpart cling and my mission here, my twin flame mission and being immersed in your passion, in what is, in what impassioned you. I have multiple things that I, I get to do. I'm a Gemini and a manifesting generator. Variety, baby, variety. That's why I had to record two different little videos today. But goddess, when I say to you, and I, I want you to shift this narrative. We're going to shift this narrative right now. When you hear that you are the leader, you're leading in this connection, you doing the work, impacts and influences your connection, your counterpart, and the entire, the entire collective. Recognize for yourself that that means that as you do this for you, for you, for you to feel healed, for you to feel peace, for you to feel joy and, and, and freedom. There's so much freedom and peace. And there is peace in my connection. So much peace. No more perpetuating of toxic cycles. No more drama. Because the detachment has truly happened. So there's no stormy seas. When you truly begin to focus on you, goddess, when you really truly create from that intention that this is for me to feel peace, for me to feel whole, for me to feel complete, because I know that through my own healing, through my own reclamation of my power, that I impact, influence, and inspire everybody else in my life to do the same for themselves. This is how you lead. This is not about blame or shame or guilt within this connection that you need to do this to shift that or shift this or whatever the fuck anybody's telling you so you'll have harmonious physical union with your counterpart. Goddess, unless it's from the place of, so I will be healed within myself and feel whole within myself and feel peace within myself, and it's not gonna work. And it's nothing but ego. I'm here to speak the harsh truths. And I'm ready for the backlash from those who would rather you, dear goddess, continue to give your power away to your twin flame or to them making promises that if you shift this or that, that you will not all of a sudden they won't have a wife and children and, and this whole other life. I've been speaking to goddesses that have been in separation, right? Been finding their power on this journey to overcome that illusion of separation for decades. Are you prepared to have your life on hold that long? Are you prepared to put your peace off? That is what I do. And I was doing it before I was in this twin flame space. Self-love empowerment coaching. As a former pimped out drug addicted prostitute, I have had things done to me that I don't even know if YouTube's probably going to censor me for having just said what I said. I know very much what it is to look for and find my power in any facet of this, which is each our own self-love empowerment journey. And I am here to guide you into and through finding yours too, goddess. Four ways to work with me.
You can check the description below. The shortest distance from A to Z, however, is to go straight to IamEmpowered.as.me and book a coaching session right now today. Why wait? Why continue to give your power away and perpetuate the cycle? It's time to set yourself free. So, book a session with me. And as I do, I remind you that the power is is in your hands, goddess. I promise you it's in your hands. It's in your hands to stop carrying this bullshit burden that it's all on you. Mm -mm. But let it all be for you. Fill your cup so full that it overflows into those around you. Know your power so certainly is in your hands that you inspire others to know that too. By coming to know that power is also and always has been in you. Namaste.